Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous couple of videos, we have learned two things. How we can create MySQL database connection with Ignition Scala. And the second thing we have learned is how we can create or drop table in MySQL database in Ignition Scala from our database query browser. Okay. Now in this video, we are going to learn about transaction groups. Okay. So if you open your Ignition designer, then you can see in the project browser, we have a transaction groups. So transaction group is used to log your tag into MySQL database. Okay. So I'm going to create a standard transaction group and I'll give a name as a test and I'll press on create. Now, as you can see, we have a three option for our transaction group. Either you can enable it, you can disable it or you can pause it. Okay. Now it is in disable state. Now we want to log some data into our database in some table. Okay. So for that, we have to select which tag we want to log. So we will change our tag provider and then we will select our two random tag, random integer one and random integer two. And we will drag and drop into this basic OPC group items. Okay. Now, as you can see, action execution scheduling. So at what interval you want to log the data into your database. So you want to log your data every one second in your database, or you want to log your data every 10 seconds in your database. You have to specify it here. Now, as you can see, update more. So update more in the sense, I want to store my data from OPC to database. Okay. Now, what is the data source in the previous video? We have created MySQL database. Okay. So we will select data source as a MySQL database and we will select here table name. So table name will be my historical data. Okay. And then automatic create table. If it is not available, use custom index column as a false. And here we want to store our timestamp in T underscore stamp column. Okay. So this is okay to store our data into mysql database we don't have to uh, do any changes in trigger and option it's a basic uh, transaction group okay now you can see status and events okay status means when it was last executed total execution time how many time it has write to our database you can see everything here and if your transaction group is not starting then you can see the events in this table Okay, so let me save this project. Okay, my project is saved, but execution is disabled. Okay, so we will enable it later on. Let me go to my MySQL workbench. And if I refresh it, as you can see, I don't have any tables in my database. Ignition test database, I don't have any tables. Okay, so we will minimize this. We will enable this. And then as you can see, save project to start transaction group. So we will save by pressing Ctrl S. And you can see group states change to running okay so you can see last execution at this date and how many time it has write to our database so three times six times total execution two times because it will execute at every 10 second okay so if i click here then you can see what values it has write to my database so let me set to auto refresh so whenever it write to my database, it will automatically reflect here. Even if I go to my MySQL workbench and if I refresh here, you can see we have a table here, historical data. And let me select top 200 rows and you can see we have that data here also. Okay, so this is how you can log your data into MySQL database using transaction groups. Okay, you can expand it, you can see the Mm, column name here as well and whatever the data ignition will log into your database it will be appear here in database query browser as well and you can also see in your database so if i refresh it and you can see here historical data index random integer one value at the time random integer two value at that time and timestamp okay so in some of your cases you want to log your data every five minute ten minute or one hour or some specific interval then you can use transaction groups to store your data into your database at some specific interval of time so if i refresh again then it was previously at historical index 8 now it is at 9 and 10 okay 
So this is how you can use transaction group in your Ignition SCADA project to log your historical data into any database. So I hope everything is clear in this video and if you have any doubt or any question you can ask me in the comment section, you can ping me on telegram or you can directly email us. Okay, so we will meet you in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye and thank you.